Incline elevator. Incline elevator. I want to find the fixtures for these things. They're right on the side. I'm right here? Yep. Um, let's see, is that it? UM? Yep. All right. I've never been on incline. This is a high-rise elevator lever. I've never been on one of these in my life. So are these like Schindler fixtures. I'm going to watch out this side here. These are actually... I'm going to feel this. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, sweet. That feels so cool. Uh, what? That does not feel right at all. What? The way this thing accelerates is a joke. I loved it, though. That was or that was kind of interesting. I'm going to look out the window with my... Uh, the lighting fixtures on this these elevators have already gone to uh, <laughs> crap, and these elevators have only been in service for... A couple months. And I was on these on opening day. Yeah. Well, I did not get this car on opening day, ironically. Yeah. yeah. You know, quality service. Uh, I'm with Appalachian Elevators, and we are at the Hudson Yards, 34th Street, uh, 7 train station. And yeah, these inclined elevators are pretty interesting. I've never been on one before, but yeah, it shows the quality of government work when your elevator's already breaking down after only three months of service at the most. Well, then again, I did see these things glitching after three hours of service. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get cab view. Is there a window on the side, too? Uh, both sides. Awesome. I'm gonna get a view out the side window going down in the back, so I'm gonna get this side going up. Your side, yeah, your side right has an escalator, a single up escalator. Awesome. You know how far we are from the top? Uh, at least halfway. Awesome. This is worth coming here for, even if they are slow. Yeah. I've never been on an incline in my life. Anywhere. First one. As you can see on my, my camera, you got the other car going down. Coming up. There's some machinery over here. Do you have the counterweight on your side? Uh, counterweight's well behind us. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, face door. Ah, uh, got it. So are we, we're here? Let me show closer to the ground. Here's where we are docking. You're docking. Feel the door. It takes forever to level. Yeah. That is what we're doing. Yeah, it is. So then that's the standard for an incline elevator. It's crazy. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna look out this side. Let's go back down to the lower mezzanine and close the doors. They use DC and DO for their open and close. Yeah. I know. And and long, not, not I know. Uh, that's an indicator up there, I think? Yes, it is. Alright. It does have an interesting start to these. Yeah, it does. Um, is the counterweight on this side or the other? Uh, it's underneath the car. Underneath on which side? Uh, it's going to go under the car entirely, so it's like under on the center of the car. Oh, so there's no chance of viewing it? No, actually there is. How? You want to you film with my phone? It's an interesting design though. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if MTA did their job and got these working properly. I don't know, these elevators are a source of controversy with this with the MTA. Yes, they are. Um this station was supposed to open up two years ago, but these elevators are the main reason for the delay. <clears throat> and after further research, Kone was involved. And actually, yeah, and Kone, the counterweight's going by now. Uh, not just Kone was involved, but these are the same fixtures, Appalachian elevators. These are the same, like almost the same fixtures I had on the elevators on the Carnival Dream, and I swear Kone was involved in those. Almost very similar fixtures. Now, only Kone and Schindler are known for Arena for uh, elevators and ships. And one of these is involved with this design. That, I swear this button feels the door close button here feels almost just like that one in design. I don't know. Really, who is responsible for these? Kone or Schindler? Or Kone yeah. and the third part. Kone did the install, but someone else was more involved with this than we think. Some as I'm going to say. Major company or? No, minor company out of Italia. Of Italy. Oh, we're docking. On the bottom side now. Awesome, I'm going to look out the door. Let's see if we can level faster down here. It was actually a jerkier acceleration at the bottom. Yeah. I like it. So we are leveling at the very bottom of the incline elevator, and I think I'll send it up and, or no, they didn't, did, I think MTA already got theirs. Oh, uh, they already got theirs, but I want to go back down to the train. Yeah, I'm going to send this back up, and we can watch it go up the shaft part, part way. Alright, I, I hit UM, watch it close, 
and there it goes and we can watch it go up the shaft part of the way it's closing oh no it's not there it goes now I can I'm gonna watch the window and I can't see it but you should be able to see the inclined elevator leaving um hit the call button Now I will hit the button. I will guarantee you. Hold the door for me, please. Good. Now, epic fail. Um, That'll go for the Appalachian Elevator's blooper reel. Yes, blooper. With the High Rise Elevator Lover being the sole cause of the said blooper. All right, there it goes this time. Now let's see if it actually goes up the shaft for my viewers. Um, there it should go now. Now it's going. All right. And after this nice long video, six minutes and five seconds, and that will be it. Thank you very much for watching.